Trista Perot with Mommy Upgrade and I just wanted to show you a little bit of my shopping expedition last week. Um, from time to time I like to take you on little shopping experiences uh, with me and one of my favorite stores here in Dallas-Fort Worth is, and I might say it wrong, Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. Um, well, it's actually a Japanese yen store where everything uh, converts to about $1.50 for us. Now, they do have some items that are a little bit more, uh, but most most everything is $1.50. So, anyway, I, I love to just pop in there and see what I can find once in a while. So, I wanted to share with you what I found this last week. I specifically went for um, one thing in particular, but of course, when you go to Daiso, you can't just buy one thing. You have to shop because everything is so unique and different. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, well, I have one thing unwrapped on my desk, and I got this because a friend of mine is really into skulls, and so they have these cool little chrome, um, you can see it there. These, This one's a candle holder, but they also had banks. Um, so I got one of these for her, and then also I was planning a Harry Potter party, and we're also doing some steampunk for craft exchange. So I thought between all of that, I could probably use one of these myself. So got a couple of these, and again, $1.50 with Daiso. I'm going to move that over to the side. Um, okay, here's my big bag of goodies. Crinkle, 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 crinkle. <laughs> um... For those of you who follow, have followed me for a little while, you know that we built a pool um, over the summer last summer. And so we're really excited now because we can actually sit outside and enjoy um, a meal by the pool on our patio. Um, but there's one thing that absolutely drives the Princess Cupcake into hysterics, and that is bugs. So I anticipate that we're going to have a little bit of a problem with her getting her to eat outside um, because she does not like bugs around her food. So Daiso had these cute, and I wish I had gotten the striped one, but they only had one of those. But these are the cute little, um, what you call it, the uh, to cover up your plate so that it doesn't get bugs on it. So it's a little net. Yeah, so these were all just, and then that just pops in there. There we go. Um, and so these were just $1.50, and they had a couple of cute different designs, but all of our outdoor stuff is navy, and then our pavers are, you know, kind of that color. So I um, thought these would be super cute, and for $1.50, who doesn't want to keep bugs off their food, right? So I got a few of those. Um, get those out of the way. They are just called... <laughs> Dropped it on a pug. <laughs> pug freaked out. Um, those are just called food covers. Okay, so now then moving into the beauty section, which I love to find little fun deals in the beauty section. This is like my all-time favorite Daiso find. Okay? You know those Biore strips that you stick across the pool, your nose and it pulls all that junk out of your pores and when you pull it off you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe all that was in my skin. Yeah, well, Daiso has them for only a dollar fifty. Can you see that? And these are like little uh, charcoal pore care packs, and they work just as good as the Biore, which are probably seven dollars a package. Um, okay, so there's four of these in here for a dollar fifty. Super great deal on those. So I love those. I probably should have gotten a whole stack of them because the last time I was there, they didn't have any. Um, but you use them like once a week, so that, that'll that last me two months. Um, the other thing I found that I thought was really cool, and you know, I don't get my nail clearly, I don't get my nails done all the time, but every once in a while I like to treat myself, but it, it's such a pain then to get it off, you know, um, if you're not going on a regular basis, which I just don't. I don't have the time to keep it up. But I like to take, when I'm done with it or it starts shipping, I like to be able to take it off at home. And that's, you know, like sitting there with your nails in the stuff, and it's just a huge hassle. Well, they had these at Daiso. Can, whoop, can you see this? Gel nail off foil. So this is good to just wrap your fingers in your nails just like they do in the salon. Yeah. 
for $1.50 and that's cheaper than getting it removed by them and it's certainly a lot better than like scraping and picking like I normally do and I also don't like to sit in the acetone at least then my fingers are free and I don't have to sit with my hand in a bucket so anyway $1.50 um, I got a couple of those I think I got something else in the I did I got these little can you see this nail art seals this was only a dollar fifty and I thought they would look super pretty on top of my SE let's see what color is this the SE did not come from there um, turquoise and Caicos this is like one of my favorite colors but I just thought that would be so pretty for spring to put that on there and then seal it with my top coat anyway um, this is the Japanese style collection nail art seal okay moving on let's see what else do we have okay the whole reason why I went to Daiso in the first place is we are planning a Harry Potter party and so we needed to make um, some wands for everybody so they can choose their wands from Ollivander's wand shop when they get there so but you know if you buy kind of authentic looking wands they're super expensive and I saw a great DIY online so I but I needed um, those bamboo cooking sticks and when I looked online for Amazon to buy some they had some there from Daiso I'm like well I'll just go to the store because that's so much cheaper until you buy all this other stuff but anyway so I found these these were $1.50 a package and this, they come in different sizes, which is great. So we can make all the ones different. They're super big. Anyway, so these, these are gonna work out great. So this is a little DIY craft project for a birthday party later this month for the cupcake. Um, let's see, also, oh, back to the beauty aisle. I'm sure that I did not need this one bit, but I got it anyway. This is a face washing brush. And it's supposed to clean right down to the pores. I do like a good um, exfoliation, but I love that it's got the little thing back here so you can hold it really easy. Anyway, sure I didn't need that, but you know, anyway, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, okay, so these, I've got a little DIY project going on. These are, um, white stretching poles and these are just short little ones I don't know if you can see the picture of what they did like a little gap in the cabinet to put a hook and then a hair dryer um, I have some cabinets that have glass in them but we don't seem to keep things neat behind it so I wanted to see if maybe I could rig something up with these to make like a little curtain with some fabric that matches our curtains um, behind the door so stay tuned this is, this is a little project fifty. I figured I can, I could certainly try that. If not, we'll, I'm sure we'll find something else to do with that. Um, okay, back to the kitchen section. I thought these were super cute. These are, can you see that? Gigantic. Well, they're actually all sizes, but I wanted it for this gigantic ice mold to be able to make a gigantic heart and put it into a drink. How cute is that? I just think the cupcake will love this because um, Big Daddy makes those big square ice cubes for his drinks and the big round ball ice cubes that fill up the whole glass. So um, we've got a couple other little fun ice cube silicone trays, but I thought this was awfully fun. Again, dollar fifty. Sweet. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the cleaning aisle. <laughs> don't laugh I had to have these they're microfiber slippers so that you can clean your floor while you're walking no way how cool is that gonna be mm -hmm. so this is the way that I can get the cupcake to clean the floor for me or we could play risky business or <laughs> we can do any number of things anyway I'm hoping it cleans my floor for most of all um, all right, one, two, three, 
for five more things in here. So we'll go through this kind of quickly. Um, also over in the sort of housewares section, I just thought these were really sweet. They are um, felt coasters. And I'm not sure if I'll use this for like a craft project or if I'll have to actually use them as coasters. We have coasters coming out of our eyeballs. Uh, but I just thought they were so sweet. I may just stylize it with a teacup or something for a photo shoot or whatever. But anyway, totally adorable and cute and pretty. Um, okay, so then in the office aisle, I found a couple of fun things. Here is a fairly big roll of cloth tape. I'm not 100% sure if their version of cloth tape is like our duct tape. It doesn't quite seem right. Um, but I haven't opened it yet to really see. I guess we could open it really quickly. But it's kind of gold and the cupcake had asked me specifically to get her some duct tape while I was there. And this was the only thing close to duct tape I could find, which she says is perfect. Uh, let's see. Here's the opening. Uh, yeah, I would say this is the equivalent of duct tape, but it's a nice beigey gold, so this will be perfect for. I think she wants to make wands with it, but I'm not sure. Um, also, in the office supplies aisle, we have a neighbor who has a Boston Terrier, and this I'm not sure if this is a Boston Terrier or if this is. I guess maybe this is a French Bulldog. I was thinking it was Boston Terrier, so I got it for them. But it's probably a French Bulldog. Either way, totally adorable. Just cute little lined notebook. Dollar fifty. And a nice little surprise to put on the porch. Um, also in the office aisle, I found a screen for the iPad Mini. Now, no, this is not like a Zag screen. Don't even think. I mean, it's bendable and everything. But the cupcake has an iPad mini and she has sticky fingers in if it prevents even the slightest scratch or a little bit of manhandling by her, I'm all for it. A dollar fifty. It can't be that bad. Uh, anyway, so there you go. I had a whole bunch of these in different sizes for different devices and everything. And then my last little find of the day, which I thought was super fun, uh, $1.50 chalkboard tags. You know I'm going to be using this up with my some craft supplies. So also I thought I could use this with an uh, upcoming Harry Potter party. Maybe stick it on a stick or a paper straw. It would be really cute on a paper straw and just do a little sign you know next to each of um, the items that we have out for the party. And I think that's... Oh no. I got two other things. Sorry. <laughs> And then down one more, one more, one more. Um, okay, so these were more than a dollar fifty, but also for the Harry Potter party, we're going to have jars full of potions. Um, so it's kind of like potions glass. And when I was getting some ideas off Pinterest, they had all these different shapes and sizes of jars that they said that they got at IKEA. Um, IKEA is very inexpensive and I thought that was a great idea but it's also a beating to go in there especially if you take your almost eight-year-old because what should be just like a little 15 minute trip turns into an event. So while she was at ballet I was able to pick these up at Daiso for two dollars a piece. I thought that was perfect because I'm gonna have different colored stuff in the jar so like this one I can put like a green potion this one I can put some sort of orange potion and then put the little labels on the outside and it was only two dollars a piece so I'm thinking between these and a couple of the booze um, bottles that I've saved from Big Daddy uh, I'm thinking I got the potion jars covered so. That's it. So everything you saw here, um, I did get six of these, was I think $47, I think. So let's see how many things we have here. We have two, um, plus six of those is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
25. So 25 things. A couple of them were more than the dollar fifty. So it was a pretty good haul, I think. Anyway, thanks for shopping with Mommy Upgrade. You can find me on many social media: Snapchat at uh, T Perot, I think. Um, Instagram also T Perot. You can follow me on Facebook at Mommy Upgrade, and you can obviously subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, also on Twitter at Mommy Upgrade. Those are my usual ones. <laughs> but you can also go to mommyupgrade.com and find out all the different places. Oh, Periscope, that you can follow me. Thanks. Have a great day, guys.